Microsoft GI would like to thank our sponsors. Hey, what's up, GI TV? My name is Tim, and I am joined here by Michael Ratton, who is the owner and designer of Shellback Tactical Gear. It was really cool, Mike. Thanks for coming in. Thanks for having me. Uh, interesting thing, Mike lives really close to GI, yeah. and so he kind of hit us up through our live show and through Facebook and was like, hey, you know, you guys are starting to sell our gear right now. I'd love to come in and talk about it. So here he is. Thanks for coming down. Uh, why don't we just get to know you a little bit? What's going on with you? How did you get started? What's Shellback Tactical all about? Well, me and my background, I've been a police officer for 17 years. Mm -hmm. um, about 10 years ago, I, I got into the defense industry mm -hmm. just by because I wanted to do business. Mm -hmm. um, and we started with like weapon accessories. And after that, about five years ago, the weapon accessories didn't work out so well. So then we moved into nylon. Mm -hmm. And just with my law enforcement background, I started designing products that were geared towards active shooter situations. Can you clear up a question that we've been getting from some of our internet followers? Is it a tag banshee? Is it a shellback tactical banshee? There's been a lot of internet fights sure. about this. <laughs> Hopefully you're the guy that can clear this up. Yes, the, the banshee is a shellback tactical product. Uh, it's manufactured by tag. Okay. So any banshee you see it will have a shellback label. Mm -hmm. It will have shellback uh, placards and mm -hmm. stuff like that. But it's just all manufactured by TAG. And I think mm -hmm. it's because it's on both sites and pushed so much by both companies. Mm -hmm. There's kind of the um, misconception that there's two different Banshees. But it's, it's only okay. one Banshee designed by me. That's really cool. That's definitely really cool. I mean, we have a couple of things that you brought into here. So why don't we kind of dive into that and explore a little bit. Okay. All righty, Mike. We have the flagship, the Banshee. We've already clarified that this is the Shellback Tactical Banshee manufactured mm -hmm. by TAG. You mentioned that this thing is probably your fourth rendition of this gear. Tell us what went into the design of this. I and mean, maybe we can pinpoint some key features that were some feedback that you got from law enforcement military. Maybe some of this is your original design that you originally came up with. Right. So let's go through this. Okay. Um, when we originally did this, it didn't have a cummerbund. Um, it basically was front and back. Uh -huh. It didn't even have all this Velcro. It was just mostly uh, just the Molly front and back, and it had only just a quick uh, release buckles on the sides. Mm -hmm. Um, but then we saw that there was a need for a low profile and guys were like, hey, well, I would be great if we had a cummerbund that was removable and adjustable. So Extra molly space. we added the cummerbund, uh, which is, you know, comes off, it's, you know, adjustable, whether you're a real slim person or a larger person, mm -hmm. it adjusts out pretty well. Mm -hmm. um, at the time, it did not have a kangaroo pouch. Um, once we added the flap for the, um, to accommodate the cummerbund, mm -hmm. we added the kangaroo pouch. Now, what other like accessory that you can add to your plate carrier, the, the Banshee specifically, is these shoulder pads. And you mentioned that these things go sell almost as well as your your Banshee does. How did this come about? Right. Well, the, the shoulders on the Banshee are already padded. They already mm -hmm. do have some closed cell foam in there. Yeah, definitely. Um, and if you're a you know a smaller stature guy and you can uh, keep it really close to mm -hmm. you, you'll have no problems. Um, yeah. But if it if you're a bigger guy and you have to you have to kind of let it out a bit, mm -hmm. and now you're carrying mags and hydration and everything, and you're going to be standing for a while, it's going to wear on your shoulders Definitely. pretty quick and uh, fatigue you. So I used different materials on this um, to make sure that it was super padded and super breathable. Okay. So now once you it's like it's a little piece of heaven when you slide these on. Mm -hmm. and now you're fully loaded out, and um, it's definitely worth the accessory to add this to your bench. Definitely, I think so as well. Not to mention. Probably makes it look a little bit cool. It, it does. It does have a cool factor as well. <laughs> indeed, indeed. Okay. Well, I mean, this is an awesome plate carrier. I think we've already covered it as nauseum. You have a couple of other new things behind this that I definitely yeah. want to bring out. Stuff I've never seen before. So let's do that. All right, Mike. This is the Phalanx four? Type Four. Phalanx Type Four. We don't currently sell this, but depending on what kind of feedback we get from this video, if there's enough demand for it. We could definitely pick it up. Yeah, and we had you know a lot of great uh, feedback when it comes to this one and. Because I, mean, I designed this one, and basically what I did was I wanted to make sure that there was space and uh, the utility of being able to run, whether you, depending on if you're switching guns, um, mm -hmm. you can run M4 mags or AK mags or, uh, you know, your 308 type mags. So there's four uh, rifle type pockets in the front mm -hmm. that will hold any of those mags. So it's, it's pretty versatile. It's kind of okay. a universal rifle mags. The other thing on front of the, uh, the four rifle mags is four pistol mags. And mm -hmm. what we did was... What we, we have universal pistol mags that we also sell as like a molly pouch, mm -hmm. but we just integrate and directly sew them, on, sew them onto the front of this. Okay. Um, so now if you're running a 1911 type handgun mm -hmm. or you're wearing a double stack block mags, mm -hmm. it'll fit either one. Cool. Um, 
and there's also seven, you know, seven pound magnets inside each one as well, mm -hmm. which gives you that extra retention. Mm -hmm. um, so it's bungeed, has magnets, and depending on what type of mags you're running, it just gives you an extra, really cool. little bit extra retention. That's really cool. I've never heard of any other mag pouch using a magnet to retain the mag. Yeah, like for instance, an empty Glock mag would just, if you dropped it on the front, it will hold. Awesome. Um, so it would just sit there depending on, you know, whether you're doing a mag change, you don't want to throw it on the ground. Yeah. It, it should hold it. That's really cool. Um, this particular rig comes also with um, our MX-5000 uh, radio pouch. Okay. Comes with it, as well as a utility pouch on the side. Yeah, I see this right here. Um, which is nice for a med kit. And again, whether you have batteries, you know, okay. you might have... Uh, this is not sewn in, though. It's Molly. Correct. So but these, it comes with these pouches. It comes with okay, these pouches. Cool. So we know that the Banshee is at a great price point. Where does this thing stack up as far as price goes? The MSRP on these is about $120.95. Oh, it's not even that much. No, it's not. That's not too bad. Excellent. Okay. Oh, I almost forgot the holster right here. So this is a universal holster pouch? Yes. It, right up here, whether you need, if you're, depending on what pistol you want to run, if you want to use it, it does come with a uh, insert that can adjust to almost any pistol so that you can secure your pistol. Mm -hmm. um, you can run it flat. And just behind that pouch is also another uh, opening that's a kind of a mesh pouch. So mm -hmm. you've got two pouches right there as well. For flat objects like maps or something like that. Exactly. Excellent. Really, really cool. Now, yeah, I know that you brought a couple of subloads, some belt rigs. I definitely want to go over that because I've recently become a huge fan of belts. Yeah, definitely. All right, Mike, I have the Warfighter Battle Belt here. This is something that I have recently added to my gear. Not this specific piece of gear, but uh, you know, adding a belt to my rigs adds so much more versatility and options. What is special about the Shellback Tactical Belt? Well, this belt uh, is one of our new products. Mm -hmm. um, the features on it, uh, basically it's padded inside, mm -hmm. uh, but they're all padded, but what we did was at three points within the belt, mm -hmm. we added non-slip. So right here. once you're fully loaded out um, and you cinch this thing down, you can run, you gotta go to prone, it's not moving on you. Uh -huh. um, on the outside here, it's partitioned at three places, the left and right and the mm -hmm. rear. Each partition allows you to access your subloads okay. from below. Cool. So you can also like, you know, conceal a dump pouch or, you know, have a dump pouch but still have your uh, real estate mm -hmm. on top. Mm -hmm. um, and that applies to the rear and the other side as well. Okay. It's also structured at three points as well. So you don't have the rollover, the sheets of plastic mm -hmm. at three points. And so keeps it nice and rigid. The riggers belt I brought in as well. Um, this one right here you could actually climb with. You'd have to you know, you would want to make sure and check it yourself for safety to make mm -hmm. sure it's going to work for you. But we've had a lot of people uh, move into this. You know, mm -hmm. there's a, there's a ton of riggers belts out there, and we also sell riggers belts. Mm -hmm. um, but a lot of guys just like the versatility of, of having this Cobra mm -hmm. buckle. Um, it's a great buckle. It's a cool buckle, mm -hmm. um, and overall, it's just it's, it's super sturdy. Mm -hmm. uh, and you got the first, you know, for rigging in. And, and the great thing, like the ports that you can access it. So when you are adjusting it to yourself, mm -hmm. um, you can just open up the yep. Velcro bottoms and, and work it in when you're finally, when you're first putting it in, mm -hmm. or if you're adjusting it for size to you. Indeed, the Cobra buckles, I don't currently, I think I have one, but I don't really use it. But that's definitely a feature that I love about the Cobra buckle. Well, Mike, you really blessed us with a lot of information <laughs> and bringing all these cool products. I really appreciate you coming down to visit us here at Airsoft GA. Thanks you for having me. Thanks for coming in. Airsoft GI would like to thank our sponsors.